following major developments surrounding that terror attack in Flint. The FBI just released this new picture of the suspected terrorist Amur Fatui. Meanwhile, law enforcement says the officer attacked Jeff Neville is doing well. They say the two stab wounds missed his carotid artery. We have also learned Amur Fatui tried to buy a gun at the Gibraltar Trade Center within five days of the attack. We have team coverage tonight from Detroit to Flint, and we begin with 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson live at the Federal Building downtown Detroit. And Jonathan, what have you learned? Yeah, guys, a lot to get to. Let me walk you through the news today, how it developed. Congressional sources telling me earlier today that the suspect attempted to buy a gun just days before the attack, but was denied due to his citizenship. We've learned that attempted gun buy was in Macomb County. The FBI confirming for us he bought a knife instead. This, as you mentioned, agents releasing a new photo that they are hoping Michiganders saw him before the attack and call with tips about what they saw and where. Moments ago, the FBI releasing this new photo of Amor Fatui. Federal sources telling the seven investigators it's believed he was in our area as early as June 16th. And because he was not under surveillance, agents are hoping the public recognizes him and speaks up about encounters with the man now accused in a terror act. We show activity in Michigan on June 18th. Uh, as a result of the attack yesterday, we've now conducted over 20 interviews of witnesses, and we expect to do additional uh, interviews as we continue to go through the information that we have obtained through a variety of investigative means. The seven investigators also learning today, Dewey tried to buy a gun at the Gibraltar Trade Center in Macomb days before the attack, meaning it appears he didn't just drive directly from Canada to Flint. There was at least one stop in Metro Detroit before the stabbing attack on the Bishop Airport officer. Had he gotten his hands on the gun, it's unclear and scary to think about what attack would have or could have unfolded. Now that stop in Macomb County had me asking officials this afternoon if the suspect had cased any other sites in Metro Detroit for attack before moving on to Flint. I was told they just don't know the answer to that yet. They're obviously still interviewing this guy. However, they have no evidence that the Flint attack was part of a broader attack, they say. Also, sources in Canada tell me that three people were taken into custody at this gentleman's home. The FBI telling me today that there's no evidence that anyone aided the suspect in this attack, but we are awaiting word on whether or not anybody there in Montreal as part of his family will be a charge in connection with all of this. Finally, coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we continue to probe into this story. We dig deeper into the bigger question of why Flint? We ask the FBI and law enforcement experts that exact question. For now, we're live downtown. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jonathan. 